Hi, welcome to a new tutorial about how to configure your standards and skills on your standards based gradebook. The first thing to do is to access to the left side menu on the section Marks and Rubrics. Once we are there, we just have to enter to Skills Configurator. Once we are there, we ju just by clicking the plus button, we will access to a page like this one in which we can add all the skills we want to add to our uh, gradebook. For example, we will add collaboration, for example, and we just add a crime. Once this is done, we can click save, or if we want to delay one skill, we can delay it over here. Once we have uh, clicked save, all the list it has been done. Now the next step is to continue by configuring the standards. We are on the standards configurator and for example we can do it manually by going over here on the list and by clicking the plus button but our recommendation is that you import the list of your standards from an Excel file. This is very easy just by clicking on import standards from Excel file. I just have to select my file example I'm gonna search over here this list of standards the three different columns it has to be in one column on the Excel file here you can easily uh, see a preview in which you have your code your standard description and here if you want that those standard automatically to be linked with the skill if you add here the acronym that you have on the skill it will be automatically aligned. Once this is done, automatically it has been created a list of standards like this one in which you have the description of the standard, the code, and here is the skill in which is linked the standard. Easily I can edit it here and I even am able to add a different ponderation or I think over here. Okay. Once this is done, I'm able to, to click save and this list is already created so I have everything that I need to start going to a group for example I'm going to enter to the group algebra first grade the only thing that I have to do is to go to the three dots and by clicking on edit group if I scroll down I will see those options that is assessment by skill assessment by standards and if I click both of them, what I will see is that uh, two tabs it has been created on the list. Once those tabs it has been created, I just have to click from the list that I, I have which group I want to add to this class of algebra. Uh, in this case, it will be all these. I just click all of them, and once it has been saved, you will see that on those tabs that are isolated, I will see all the skills that I have been uh, select, and it will be the same if I access to the other that is the one of the standards, it will be the same. Now I have everything set up uh, that, uh, as you have uh, seen, uh, all the configuration is done uh, via uh, the web app, not on the apps. So I strongly recommend that you start by going on a web browser and start doing the configuration. So now I just go to my tab that here it's named projects. It will be first semester, first semester, whatever you want. And here, as always, I create the different columns with the different gradings that I am doing uh, to my students. On this case, uh, you see that here there are two options that before were not there that are skills and standards. I'm going to start like uh, saying this activity. I click on standards and say on this activity I'm evaluating this, this and this. I can even make a ponderation on the weighting and click save. This automatically it has been added to my tab of standards. Here I'm able to see all of, the, of them that it has been evaluated and directly also evaluated by the, the skills. Okay, so now 
I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna evaluate this one, this one, and this one. For example, click save. And now when I enter to my standard tab, I'm gonna see all the calculations and the ponderations that it has been done. Now when I want to to know uh, this grade, it comes from the ponderation of two times the project A and the project B. This one it comes from just the exercise of the project B. So now I'm able to see everything that it has been uh, done and all the, the activities and the, the grading. Even if I want to have an average, I can add an average of the column and an average of the, um, of the standard itself. So once I click save, you will see that it will appear this new column average with the average of all the standards and here also every column it has their own average too. Those standards and, and skills, those that they have the, the DTO4 schools version, they, they are able to share all the standards directly from the admin panel and it can be shared between all the teachers from the same school. Just by clicking on the three dots, we have those options that is import standards or share standards. And if you click import standards, you will see all the standards that you have from your schools. Okay, so just a reminder that the steps are configure your standards and skills from the web version. Once you have those, you go to your group, you assign the standards and skills that you want to evaluate in that group. And every task that you are creating, you are allocating and assigning which is the skill, which is the standard that you are doing on those activities. Even if it's an activity that it's like a mark type, uh, that it's a rubric, if it's uh, an icon, if it's um, a value selector, every one that you have, you can assign to each standard and each skill that you have that it can come from the common core standards that from the different states. I hope this is, my, is it could be helpful to you and remember that you have also um, a bigger approach about how to use standards and skills on Aditya app, on our list of uh, tutorials and also on our YouTube channel in the different webinars that we are regularly doing and broadcasting.